Oh shit, welcome back everyone to Phoenix Rain Ace Attorney Blind! Oh, it's been a... What? Two days? <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been that long. Yeah. Anyway, it's... Uh, we just got done with trial. Cameron, how do you feel after that? Uh... I feel I feel pretty good. I feel like I was kind of I was kind of on the nose with some things. Uh, wasn't exactly correct, exactly mm -hmm. how I thought things would go. But you know, uh, we got some new knowledge. Um, can't believe that Jack Hammer was actually like he's kind of like marching into his own death. Like yeah, like you know I expect I expected in a homicide it'd be like they you know it'd be like. Uh, you know, just you know, some more emotion into it. It sounds like, it sounds like you know, it was kind of his own fault. Mm -hmm. But damn, blaming the victim on SVU like of you. I don't know. Sometimes in SVU they do blame the victim. Yeah, like the <laughs> yeah they do that sometimes. Yeah, but I don't know if I have any theories for this episode because we need to learn a little bit more yeah. about what's going on. Um, I, I'm still a little confused on why Jack Hammer did it, why anyone in Studio 2 would have killed him, mm -hmm. like, you know, because usually murders happen from, like, jealousy or, like, rage or something like that. Yeah, there's gotta be a motive. I, I, yeah, I don't really see any motive, so maybe, maybe it was an accident, I don't know. That was a close one, huh, Maya? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry, I missed it. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> this bitch is back. M Maya? So, what happened? Well, I think I got a pretty good idea who did it. Now, all I need is a motive and proof. <laughs> I love how I was talking. I was like, I have no idea what the motive is. And then Phoenix is like, yeah, I, I need to find that motive. Yeah, we gotta find something. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. We had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed up the whole process. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, there's no time to waste. I guess that's for the game, but I can't imagine us doing that in America. Like, they three days. <laughs> you have three days to gather any evidence or anything? That'd be crazy. Yeah. Um, hey, a lot of shit would get done. <laughs> You're gonna yeah. check everything. You're gonna check Charlie. Just in case. Yeah, do you see the bellboy? He's cleaning yeah. the room. What about the desk? We got this desk. It's our desk. And then uh, there's all, files all books, that we gotta believe. fucking read. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, do you want to talk to her? She, she was probably much unconscious the entire time. I just don't- I just don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Look how big freaking Will they're, Powers' his hand is. Dude, they're like, um, they're like those, like, old, like, animes of, like, the Yaoi boys from, like, the 70s or, like, early 2000s where they have, like, the big fucking hands. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think you'd be like, no, what? The I've never. No, unfor unfortunately, I do know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's like the weird proportion. Oh no, or like, like JoJo characters, like from the early, early seasons where they're humongous. <laughs> what do you mean early seasons? They're always humongous. No, they, didn't they tone that down in the in the later seasons, like like five and, and ongoing? Like they made them uh, less muscular and shit. Well, I guess I guess so, but like in in fucking uh. In Giorno's part, which I think is like part five, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you can tell the stand users because they'll just be like, like they'll be like, "Where's the stand user?" And then you look, and there's someone dressed in neon clothes. In the <laughs> You're just of taking a little pose minutes. in the middle of the fucking street. And they're like, they're like, w w "Where is he?" Yeah, it could be anyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, what you mean, Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But, but Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. I feel like her like side profile is so different from her like. Like what her face looks like. Yeah. I think just per from perspective, I think she looks weird when she's facing forward. I guess. Like that. <laughs> well, she doesn't look like that weird here. Yeah, it's when, when she, she's when like she... a normal smile and everything. It's supposed to be all cute, and I'm like, oh, don't, don't look at me like that. <laughs> yeah. What happened with the director's testimony? 
Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and director were both in the trailer. Hmm. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. It's really? Why? Because they're the only two people that we've seen there. <laughs> because the real crime scene was Studio 2, where that trailer is. What? This feels like- I know Maya was- wasn't technically there, because she was technically unconscious while Mia was fronting and everything, but... Also, it's very funny to just be- I imagine them just sitting at their little coffee table, like, drinking tea, and like, yeah, that's what happened at the- at the, at the trial, and she's like, she said, what? <laughs> that's crazy! Say what? And, and he took the steel samurai costume? Oh my god! Yeah, like, gossiping. <laughs> Was Maya always this excitable? Alright, does she have any ideas? Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP. WP, powers, right? Alright, what do you want to do? You want to talk to him or? Okay. <laughs> it's still October 19th. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? <laughs> hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yeah, <laughs> guilty. <laughs> y yeah, no, there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> My Maya, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. So serious, a man's life is at stake. You gotta look at the guard. This guard he seems to be frozen by up to all of willpowers. You smile for the camera, bitch! Alright, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna show him your attorney's bitch? <laughs> oh. Uh, have you seen this, Mr. Powers? What what's that? I've never seen these steel samurais in my life. These are the steel samurais that appear for live shows. The fanboy collected these pictures himself. Seeing things like this really makes me think. That means so much to these kids, you know? Yeah. I mean, I was like that with some cartoon characters and whatnot. Oh, so I just so happened to show him actually like the one thing then. That... Yeah. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the, the producer? She, she's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Yeah, why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? N nothing. Forget it. I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Damn, well, I want to hear the rumors. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Salmonella, if you will? Oh, he has Salmonella. Oh, shit. I knew it. <laughs> oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. <laughs> My dumbass is like, maybe he got it from the steak, but then I'm like, oh, shit. You can only get Salmonella from, like, poultry, like, chicken and shit. <laughs> yeah. It was some cross-contaminated steak. <laughs> hey, I mean, you've seen Kitchen Nightmares. You see what those fucking... Oh. Those yeah, disgusting we're... fridges have. Raw chicken right next to cooked meat, cooked steak. Yeah. And... No, it's always funny when you see, like, they'll, they'll put raw chicken, like, on the top shelf, and then cooked chicken right below it, so all the juice and shit just... Oh, been... God, don't make me think about I'm that. I'm sorry. It's disgusting. I'm gonna throw up the chicken we just ate. My bad. <laughs> There's something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows this name, Salmonella. Cause you get it from chicken. I mean, I hear he's pretty much at her peck and call though. Whenever she says jump, he asks, off what cliff? <laughs> I, I, was, I can't imagine him being at her beck and call though. I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> Yeah, so what Phoenix I was, just called him fat. <laughs> I, so I want to I want to point out to you because I haven't shown you anything official. I I mean I take care of doing like the editing, the thumbnails. I don't let you see any of the comments and whatnot, just in case someone's an asshole and spoils everything. But 
Um, when I was looking up Salmonella for like the images for one of the thumbnails, what what well, one image popped up was uh, Miss Dis D Vasquez sitting and him being her chair. <laughs> Yeah, I will see if I can find it later. And I was like, damn, pretty much true. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Mr. Hammer. How many licks does it take to get your tender for Tootsie Pop? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped and died. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started this business. Damn. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. Sounds like he was being, like, blackmailed or something. Yeah. Also, doesn't that happen with a lot of actors nowadays? Where they're, like, big shots and now they just go for small... Well, I guess when they get older. Yeah, it's, they, it's they usually just can't... When, when they get older, but, like, people, like, actors... How old was he? Pull up. He's, like, thir he's like 34 or something like that. Wait, and Mr. Hammer? Nope, that's the game. Wrong one. Uh, the RB, there you go, and then profiles. Oh, 37. He was 37. How old is Will Powers? He said he was an influence. 23. Damn. Will Powers is my age, by the way. Damn. <laughs> but. Is there anyone here that's my age? Yeah. Fuck you! I didn't know she was 22, that's crazy! <laughs> I mean, I guess the closest, the closest person is, one Will is Will Powers. Powers. Or like. Oh, yes! That one. Cody Hackins. I'm seven. <laughs> I love how it's the director. Can you, can you, wait, also, the director is 32 while, while the producer is 34. The, wow. What a difference in age. It's a two year age gap between the two, and she looks like she's in her 20s living her prime, and he looks like he's a. He's in his 50s. Is a basement dwelling little creep. <laughs> yeah. All right, we can, we can continue. <laughs> a lot of actors like they their uh, prime is like throughout when they're like 60 years old. Like uh, fucking uh, what, like Olivia Benson from from SVU is still like she's like she's the main yeah she's the main character and she's 60 years old. Yeah, I was like I I think I looked up her. Uh, I, I just looked up Olivia Benson because I don't remember the name of the actual actor. <laughs> but I was like, damn, she fucking... Yeah, she, she's old as shit. I'm like, damn, she looks really good, though. And when you see her in the new seasons, I'm like, damn. So, do, so does Ice-T. Uh, uh, Stabler, actually, I mean, he doesn't... He, he looks old. Yeah. But he, he does look pretty, uh, like, decent for his age right now. Yeah. Like, like look at look up a picture of... of uh... What, Elliot Stabler? Yeah, or you could just like a Christopher Maloney. <laughs> see, see if you can find a recent. A recent oh, I don't movement. want Kathy. Just look at images. Wait, here it is, Christopher Maloney. Oh, we're we're getting a little. Okay, that. Dang, he looks pretty. What? How old is he? He's like, I think he's like sixty something. What should told me on here? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, no, there's much. Rest, Anyways, rest we're, we're, we're we're getting a little sidetracked. Yeah. Um, point being, actors prime is like. A, a, like a while, so my point is that he wouldn't just take on smaller roles. Yeah. So he had to have some reason, and like, like I said, the only reason I can think of is he's being like blackmailed about something. Didn't fucking uh, didn't the old bitch say that there was an incident five or six years ago that devastated Miss like poor Hammer? I think so. Yeah, because she was a big fan of him and everything, so she like idolizes him. Yeah, yeah there maybe we can ask her about it. She probably has like all the gossip. She probably has her own scrapbook of Mr. Hammer. Yeah, he just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago. Oh yeah, I didn't mean exam move. To the main gate. Ew. Ew, disgusting, batch. Uh. The old windbag sure is quiet today. Damn, bitch. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Maya, don't be rude to her. She's, like, aging rapidly. Nick, I think her guard's down. You should kill her. No, yeah? Take her out. <laughs> St steal her keys. <laughs> Snap her neck. Take our donuts! 
<laughs> I've been waiting to eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat and you die. Whew, she's alive. I, I thought the flies around her meant she was dead. Come on, man. It turns out she's just stinky. Stinky, stinky. Time to go eat the donuts. Yeah, computer runs the studio cameras. Huh, it looks like it's been turned off for the day. Yeah, I was about to say that. No one. clues here. The security guard station. This old bag must like junk food. There's a mountain of it by the desk. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Sir, this is just a map. You're just a map. Yeah. Van. That's a van. I love vans. I love it when they say free candy on it. That means I'm gonna get some cool candy. Hang on, I need to check something. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so that's the main gate's where we're at right now. Yeah. And then that little gate is where we see that security camera. And whatnot. Let's see, you want to see the attendant complaint area and dressing room? Yeah, so. I'm surprised it doesn't show that there's, there's another gate at Studio One. Yeah, I mean, once you pass through that area, then you're in Studio One, I guess. I mean, same thing with Studio Two. They had that big gate there with when they showed the Cody's photo and everything. Yeah. Okay, and you need a card key to get, to get yeah. through there. And I'm surprised you can, you can just go to the employee area. But I guess I guess there's this little gate at the front here. Yeah. But um, I was just checking because I was like, I was like, I wonder if there's any um, any way to get to Studio Two or Studio One, uh, besides through this area. Like, because mm -hmm. uh, obviously. This this right here, when you're looking at it, Studio 2, the only way for you to get from Studio 2 to Studio 1 is through the path that was blocked off. Yeah, they also, I mean, Cody said that he found a map online that, like, led through the woods in order to get here. There's also that way, too. Yeah. But you would have to know the area, because, like, he even said, like, he had a map and he got lost. Yeah, I'll need to go check Studio 2, because I thought I remembered that there was, um... There was... Another, like, exit or something there. Uh, what if I present this to her? Um, uh, Miss Lobang, would you think- what do you think of this? Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking, thank you very much. Are you sure you're gonna just repeat the same lines? <laughs> yeah. She doesn't wanna think. Okay. You have anything to talk to her about? Oh. Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she's always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Damn. They blackmailing her with her 401k. Like, if she says anything, she ain't getting that, like, pension. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can I ask you about Salmonella, the director? Sal, he's a soft pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. He, she treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Yeah, he's a t kink for being degraded. Oh, why would anyone like being treated like dirt? Maya. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Um, no, it doesn't, Maya. He has to not say anything because yeah, she's like, a minor. <laughs> yeah, he's like, don't don't look at dude to it, man. About Mr. Hammer. <sighs> I heard what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you dragged his sword down into the sky and stomped on it, calling him a criminal, a thief. I, I, I won't forget this. Oh. I, I, why I oughta? Why I oughta? <laughs> oh, sure, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal powers that cost him just to sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. But what if he did? Oh, so maybe if we find some evidence, maybe she'll start talking about different- I don't know. I'm trying to remember all this shit. Well, coming right, up dialogue. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming just one time. Just, just come here on your own day. The trial will be over tomorrow, you can come see them later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? How do you know about- oh yeah, yeah, huh? Yep. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, 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 no touching. Eek! Oh. Oh god. Oh, look at him. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. 
Being mean, I almost had a heart attack. You almost caused one of my four hearts and seven stomachs to to what? explode. You remember she said? Oh she, yeah, she, all she the stomachs she that she says. Yeah. When did she get multiple hearts? I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she's like two people basically. Yeah. So she she has multiple souls. She's a, she's she might a, as well have multiple of other things. She's a spirit medium. She doesn't just have Mia just chilling in her like she's just playing like the Game Boy in, in her brain. She's like Blackbeard from One Piece. She's got like like oh like my god ten, ten different people inside of her. <laughs> Not in that way. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Why did you bring it there? <laughs> you were making it, you were making it weird. I mean, read your goddamn lines. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic, indeed. Ahem. <clears throat> Look at my side profile. Look at my jawline. I've been mewing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I'm on my mewing streak right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, you're looking for the sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Oh, shit! Is, is that that green shit that's on there? The remains of the lunch scattered around. Everyone is probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone and a C. Mine's a steak. Oh, it's probably just... It's probably like broccoli or like asparagus. Because yeah. I'm picturing they didn't just give them a fucking piece of meat. Ah, oh, they've seen wisdom at last! They know if they fixed it, I'd just kick it off again! That poor assistant. Yeah, poor Penny. Alright, these are the guys, but I don't think it would fit back in if you tried. Back drop. Oh, yeah! In the, in the back here, you can hear Gumshoe's little music right here. This plays every time he pops up, I think. Oh, I see. So, some people have their own little music that appears when they uh, when they show up and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you wanna check for soda? Soda? Soda. <laughs> Window. Are you gonna talk to Gumshoe? Yeah, I will. Alright, what's good, Gumshoe? I love how I'm talking to him while not looking at him. Yeah, I will move you over. Oh, thank <laughs> <It> God. <does. laughs> so you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to those sleeping pills. See? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, me! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Yeah, I wanna see this shit. Now, now, everything in due time, pal. What the fuck? I wanna see it. What? Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, alright. Oh, so there is trace evidence. So the food. Oh. So the food on this plate had la was laced with sleeping pills? What are they. I feel like with pills, I guess it all depends on what kind of pill it is, but I feel like with sleeping pills, he would have wanted to ground them up and like put them in a drink or something. Yeah. Yeah. And uh. Instead he like just like scattered it on like a salad. <laughs> I used to take um, these, these like ADHD pills. They were like, it, it was like- Oh, you... the tablets that you could just pull and all the sugar thing comes out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know like some of those like pill capsules yeah. have like a bunch of like the little like- pieces in them like uh i used to have one of those that was it was like you like poured it on stuff or like put it on stuff what i used to do was i would put it on like toaster strudels what what is wrong with you well the hell else was i gonna eat them like i didn't know how to take pills back uh, then yeah, i didn't know either so since there were capsules you, if you pull them apart all the contents kind of spill out my parents would have to open them and put them in my drinks yeah and then <laughs> my parents tried everything they're, they're, Leave in the comments below if your parents ever tried something like that, like for like pills or like if you need to wear like contacts or something like that. What kind of odd tricks, uh, tips and tricks? Because like my parents tried everything. They tried putting pills in cheese, putting like. I feel like that's something you would do for a dog. Yeah, they treated me like a dog. Oh my god, there was um, I guess there was one time during when I had my ADHD medicine. I was like elementary school, and my parents preemptively put it in the like in a cup for me to drink and I guess I was like it was in a Dora cup and I didn't want to drink from the Dora cup and I didn't know my medicine was in there so I just gave it to my sister <laughs> <laughs> so I so I was off my meds that day and my sister was on my meds and she so it's, when she was playing with her like toys she wasn't even playing with it she was like organizing them in a, in a line <laughs> and she refused to do anything is it oh 
<laughs> so oh, my so funny. while my sister was very calm that day, I was a reckless shot, and I figured out that I did not take my medicine. And they're like, "Which cup did you drink from?" And I'm like, "That one." <laughs> <laughs> that one. Anyways, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. Stick plate added to the court record. Found in the employee area, there are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. I can't wait for Phoenix to be at the trial and he just pulls out a fucking plate. <laughs> <laughs> You're on here. According to this plate, food size sh- off. Uh, after we get done with this game, I gotta show you this funny meme of like, what do you think Phoenix does to get ready for a trial? And then it shows him like like scrambling and like and picking up random shit. I mean, I mean like, I fe- well, I, I think it all pieces together. I found this, I found this shoe. And, and this bloody candlestick that now has my fingerprints on it. <laughs> I don't know what what it is going for, but I know one thing's for sure. It's leading to not guilty. <laughs> how does it, how goes your investigation? To tell you the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. Oh, shit. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Oh, don't worry, baby. I can I can make him feel better. <laughs> How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the weight room, and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. He spilled it everywhere. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the furry of Edgeworth. <laughs> Appreciate it. Maya, I'm pretty sure you mean Fury. <laughs> it's, it's, no, he's a furry! Damn. Fi- <laughs> furry Edgeworth confirmed. It's like cat ears or some shit. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles. Say, whatever happened to that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. Hell yeah, I found it. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. Fuck yeah. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. And he was like, holy shit, I was right about something. I pulled that shit on my ass. Low key, when I was first, like, when we first found the bottle, mm-hmm. I didn't even think of foul play or anything like that. I just thought, like, Hammer was like, I want to rest. And so he just took some sleeping pills. Oh, yeah, you said ham. Like, you didn't think, like, Will Powers, like, man, I'm, I need to get some sleep. And just pop some pills and. No, no, that's, that's what I meant. Sorry. I went yeah. Will Powers, yeah, yeah. Alright, All right. dress room, does it have anything else? He's still on oh. Line. oh. Oh, hello. What are you doing here, bitch? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, I was cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so. What do, you, what do you mean? What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yeah, I'm really grateful for all you've done, but this week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, their main lead villain is dead, Maya. What What do you want them to do? <laughs> That's true. Wait, let me examine first. You wanna... Look at look at the outfits. Look at this photograph. Look at the window. Every time I look, it makes me laugh. Oh. Oh, oh sorry. I haven't cleaned there yet. Oh yeah. It looks like someone's been sleeping here. Oh, I can put it empty. <laughs> I can feel my eyes pretty. What about the snacks? Yeah. Yeah. I put all WP's personal belongings in there. He'll be able to come pick them up, right? I'm sure he'll come by, yeah. To my raids of cosmetics, this is a wig for the Seal Samurai. Pookie Woogie. Wow, you remembered, Nick! Thanks to you. <laughs> Wait, he said it's not quite as spiky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not quite as spiky as, I, as usual. How much? How much? Just knowing what Phoenix looks like, how much hairspray did, would he need to maintain that? A lot. I was wondering if you, can, if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio Two. Huh? I thought he went to Studio One. He's no. Oh. <laughs> he stole the steel samurai costume too. What? I love how it's. 
It's supposed to be like she's shocked and she's just standing there. Yeah, she's standing like an idle position. She's a posing. Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, I guess that rumor must be true then. Wait, I want to hear about the, drama. The rumor. Oh shit. You know it's getting good when you hear this music pop up. Yeah, Miss Miss Vasquez, that producer, has some kind of hold on power. Oh, Sorry, wait. Hammer. She has some dirt on him. It is any... blackmail. Look at you, you figured it out. She said apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Is it like clay? So it, is it soil? Can, can I farm with it? Dirt, you know, bad stuff. I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? Damn. No. <laughs> what do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I like how we just found out about some blackmail, and there's still, like, crazy music going on in my headset, and we're talking about the last episode of the fucking Steel Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a shock, but nothing could be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Seal Samurai's death warrant. No! Also, I heard that Colpio Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but I know what. Go but that's what Global Studios decided. Studio policy. <laughs> Why aren't they making uh, kids shows anymore? The studio Bitcoins don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. Damn, they're like, all right, even even if he's considered innocent, we got we gotta pack this shit up and go. <laughs> so fuck it, make it 18 plus. <laughs> they want it, they want it quiet, you know. How, how can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? Well, Cody's gonna be devastated. Okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. N Nick, say something. Uh, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Oh, the attorney's badge. The Not the attorney's badge. That's take a that. And this is a fan collection of all these photographs. The kids love the Seal Samurai. Imagine I, I I put the wrong thing and then uh, she's like she's like I don't know what that means and then two bars come off of my little yeah. trial thing. <laughs> the show can't be canceled just because some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters. You can tell me something. Tell me what was that... Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. What happened fucking five years ago? She was like 13, isn't she like 18? Can you tell us about what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. S someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Ms. Vacas, managed to hush it up. So that's the dirt that she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Ms. Vasquez said or asked him to do. Damn. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then, and they were afraid what would happen to his career if work got out. I mean, it's not like he was a fucking serial killer. Yeah. I see. You know what? You know who knows more about this? Miss Olbeck. She was there at the studios back then, you know? Man, is she that old? Thanks, we'll try asking her. But she'll talk. Maybe now that we talked to Penny, we have something to talk to her about now, so maybe new options? Alright, what I'm thinking right now, while we're, while we're going to move over, mm -hmm. is... That they said that they left the the studio like as it was, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm thinking at Studio Two, maybe that spot 
that was like broken off, that was the accident. So maybe that wasn't what killed Jack Hammer. Maybe that was what killed whoever Jack Hammer accidentally killed. Yeah. So maybe it was from back then. They just like never repaired it because they don't really use that studio. So that's 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 my thoughts. And that way, uh, maybe maybe he didn't die at Studio Two. Maybe he actually did die at Studio One. Um, well, no, it would have been impossible for him to die at Studio One if he went to Studio Two, like the picture said, because the monkey would have been blocking the way. Well, it's, uh, it said he passed by at two o'clock, right? Wouldn't. He died at 2.30. Oh, that's true. So I guess he did He did have to die at Studio 2. Yeah. So maybe, maybe I was... So that's maybe technically was, the new crime scene now. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's... Maybe it still was that, um... That little... That little spike that did him in. What? You're still linking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take it over for me? Oh, please. Fuck no. The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everyone's doing their darndest to forget forget Hammer. Who would who do they think made Global Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. I think she has rabies. <laughs> I think she got bit by a rabid fan. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Damn, bitch. That's all right. Nope, I'm gonna talk to her. Yeah, yeah, five years ago. Um, I want to ask you about five years ago. Oh. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh-huh. Nicholas? Nichols? Nicholas? Oh, shit. N Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Penny Nichols. I get it. Uh, yeah, a lot of, I told you, there's a lot of pun names in this game. <laughs> that is this name we talked to. Oh, right. I didn't actually know her last day. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers! Try to dump dirt on someone's past like that and the recently disparted, no less. Suppose you think it's fun? No, I'm just trying to protect- I'm just trying to do my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer so powers his costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer soul powers his costume. Hmm. We have proof. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I have, I have proof. Wait, is it just the picture? Dang, I don't have a trouble finger out that one too. <laughs> Wrong evidence? <laughs> I just know I know something. I have to get her to talk. Maybe we'll find something at Studio 2. I'm seeing if I can get another try. Yeah, you should be able to. <laughs> What's your evidence? <gasps> you did it! <laughs> Here's my proof. What? That little empty bottle is supposed to prove something? I forgot that, uh, I, th I thought that that one picture that shows, like, Jack Hammer putting on the costume is just, like, a flashback. It's not an actual picture. So, I thought Cody took that picture. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was like, doesn't, isn't that pretty, pretty much a lot of proof? Damn. No, it's just visuals. Yeah. It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What does that prove? Uh, I'm sure old Hammer just had some sleepless, sleepless nights. What is your proof to use it on Hammer? Oh, sorry, Powers. Uh, yeah, it's uh, this it monkey plate? right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on the monkey. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, yeah, so... This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. And there are traces of sleeping powder on that plate. She's gonna go into cardiac arrest. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired. I'm tired of holding it all in. Oh, damn, the music. Miss Oldbag? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident, a fatal accident. 
What's worse, the paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Venkis. She had ties to the mafia? <laughs> she's like a mob boss? Damn! She's like, my daddy owns Microsoft or some shit like that. <laughs> she silenced that pop. Yeah, she silenced she, him she, permanently. She, she said... <laughs> yeah, she was like, go on, order a hit on this asshole. And, and fucking burn it. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. If she's part of the mafia, why the fuck is she working at fuck a studio making it's, movies it's her for front. children? Yeah, I guess it. That's a weird front, though. <laughs> Aren't they like supposed to be like barber shops and I don't know laundromats, laundromats and shit? <laughs> I, I see. That's what they did in Young Sheldon. It was a, it was a laundry mac, and then at, in the back there was a gambling ring. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to understand. Poor, poor old Hammer never meant her harm to anyone. Is there a photo of it? Can we see him about to murder someone? We sold back. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Yeah. <gasps> Here, take this. A photograph? <gasps> Wait a second. I was joking. <laughs> this, this is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Ham was supposed to fight a bad guy on top of those stairs here. He pushed the actor and the man fell on the flower box fence. Damn. But how did you get this? It's a long time ago. I don't feel like talking about it. I understand. Damn, five years ago added. Damn! Thanks, bitch. I'm gonna present it to you now. <laughs> Poor old Hammer, he was a big saw, the biggest. That accident five years ago really did it in for him. He wanted to hide it, he didn't want anyone to know. Poor silly old Hammer, if he had just come out and confessed, then Vasquez wouldn't have gone her claws into him. Hmm, I wonder if he was trying to get out of his contract by making it so that, like, uh... Well, actually, I don't, I'm still trying to figure out why he would have dressed as... I don't know. But, um... I, th I was thinking something along the lines that he wanted to get out of his contract somehow. Yeah. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the steel samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him. Like the director or the producer? No, I don't feel like- I don't feel like examining. Examining shit, yeah. <laughs> oh! There she is! I don't know if she fucking had ties on Mavi. I guess that makes sense now. <laughs> hey Nick! It's Miss Vasquez! Hello? Hello! Ma Maya, do you really want to do that to a mob boss? <laughs> Come on! Hey, oh, oh, oh! Ma Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. Man, maybe maybe it was good of me for making a Russian or some shit. I don't know what accent I'm giving her. That's all she has to say, apparently. She's hot. <laughs> cool. Light van for moving staff and equipment around. They kept it in a pretty good shape. Looks like it runs fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? No, but look what I have. <laughs> Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Are you fucking stupid? Yes. Wait, hmm. is there anything in the infirmary? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. You're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Yeah, it does look dangerous. Dangerous enough it's... for someone to fall on it. <laughs> <laughs> An incinerator, Parsh. Apparently, it just... They just put one in. It's already covered in soot. It must not clean up much. Okay. The I'm surprised this place is like Maya was like, wow, this, this place is crawling with cops now. Because like, it's apparently a new scene. Why would they have an uh, incinerator, a nice working van at a studio they don't use? They said it. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. They use this place for storage now, right? They're going to some time. They've been sitting here for quite some time. So might as well just be a junkyard. I mean, they said that they just left most of this shit as it was. 
Yeah. This is where Salmonella and D. Vasquez ate. This is nothing left on the plates. I think Timo say two, something wrong? I don't know, I'm getting this funny feeling. Something about this just feels odd, you know? Can't say that I do. Well, they have an incinerator. Maybe they threw the bones in there. Yeah. Oh. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think it's part of some temporary film set. And door. It's unlocked! It's a trailer. <laughs> Alright, you wanna talk to D. Vasquez? You wanna talk to a mob boss? <laughs> Um, excuse me? Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shush. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really taking me off. Kill her! <laughs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... You did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! <laughs> my fate blood speaks to me! I know it! I know it! Oh, God! <laughs> you know, I, th I think Maya's right. Um, so I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella? You must talk about that man. Perhaps you could talk about it inside the trailer. By yourself. Oh, oh dear. Does Phoenix say anything? I'd have been like, oh god. I think, I think, she, I think she killed him. I think she's gonna get Salmonella to, to vouch, to vouch for her, and and Salmonella's gonna go away, and she's gonna get off. Damn. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from. Getting that rare car she needed. I, uh, we saw her like in the middle of cleaning, and then we <laughs> figures I can't believe you spent so much money on this shit. Meaning, cups, all these goddamn posters. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. Typical summer romance with a samurai and a horse? Yeah, the samurai was in love with the horse. <laughs> That's a weird ass movie, Maya. <laughs> Hey, Sarah, what the hell does Samurai sing about? Chopping off heads. Oh. My. God. That movie was the best! It's about a Samurai who sings this way to fame and fortune! <laughs> okay, we read all this shit already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything in the trash can, or no? Let's see. Nothing here. I put just crumpled up papers. Is, is one of the paper cups the one that, that Edgeworth crushed? Yeah. From him being so angry. I guess there's nothing in here. But we made time go by, which is good. That's how you know you're making progress when time moves. Can we present? Do you really want to show her that? I kind of do. Do whatever you want, man. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I well... Old bag. Old? She means the security lady, Miss Miss Oldbag. Oh. She means the security lady, Miss Oldbag, Nick. Right. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? Do you really want to talk to a mob boss, Phoenix, like this, and use it to control Mr. Hammer? The wind. The huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about this more, inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer! Wow, Maya, I would have never known! <laughs> Alright, I think we, uh, leave. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's gonna kill us inside the trailer. Yeah, she, she pulls out a knife and game over. Oh, you come. Well then, what is it this wanted to talk about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez? You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you can control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing those kids shows for petty change. Hmm. So I was black so I'm the blackmailer now. Well that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean sure it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. Well, 
I haven't pulled anyone down fr from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour on its own accord. But, but you were the cause. You pressured him. Damn, I am. I think it was just an accident. Excuse me? What is all this about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would be? What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Huh. Just think. Would he have left me running his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe me. But, but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh. Well, she's a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo to the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a free bruises, too. So, that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need were the negativities. He couldn't make copies. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one that you hold. Give it to me, now. What? What? This is valuable evidence! Boys? Oh! Oh, shit. Uh, we're gonna get killed, aren't we? Who are the professionals? They're good at the racing various things. What do you think? Would you would you like to be erased? Uh huh. <laughs> the trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. What a shame that you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Tell me why. Hey, why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammers' dirt, no? Why would D. Vasquez care about it? Care about it all? I'm sure you have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, race away. No! I'll never figure out how to steal Samurai ends! Hold it right there! Oh, thank God! I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now! Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this content would be decided tomorrow then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Damn! Hey, you okay, pal? I, we saw our life flash before our fucking eyes! <laughs> Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Oh, uh, he was pr he was like counting down. He's like, oh, well, hold on, wait, I gotta gotta hear a bit more before I barge in. Okay, they're about to die. Okay, I gotta I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. I almost saw my any me on the other fucking on the other side. <laughs> huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job, keeping uh, my mutant streak. Yeah, <laughs> gotta keep that jawline going. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Sorry, it's just. I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Aww. You've been a detective for so long that you're like, I just want to do it. <laughs> okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. You fucking saved our asses. That's what, that's what I know. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. Oh, shit. Alright. Looks like we're wrapping this shit up soon. We'll probably have two episodes of like of the trial then. But this, this is it. If it's do or die in this one, it's the final day. Well. Uh. How do you feel? I feel I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm I'm learning a bit. You know, mm -hmm. not Tell not sure what conclusion I'm drawing up yet. I'll think about it a little bit more for the next one. Do you have any theories about this? Or anything you want to talk about before? Like, like I said, I think I think I think D Vasquez is the reason that Hammer died. I think he I think he was he probably came over and was sick of her shit. And uh, I think what he might have tried to do was as the Steel Samurai, he wanted to take her out. Maybe one of her goons or something pushed pushed him and like he fell onto that onto one of the spikes, just like the other dude, which would be, like, you know, kind of an ironic turn of events. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I think she was truly blackmailing him, and uh, and I think I think she's trying to like frame him because like you know she's got she's got a lot of a lot of connections, so I feel like she would have some way to to frame all this together. Mm-hmm. But I think I think like they said, she's at the bottom of all this. Yeah. My second plausible theory is just Salmonella is an idiot and like pushed him or something like that, or yeah, or, or, or Jack Hammer just like like slipped on a banana peel and fell and, and died. <laughs> yeah, it's the other theory. The the first one that you have is like she's he, he, she's he's getting blackmailed. He was gonna do this and that and all this and you're like he just he just fell and he was being silly. <laughs> yeah. For the second one. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 my opinion. I think I think she's she's the culprit, or one of her goons maybe. But yeah. at the at the bottom of it is her. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's that's my theories. Alright, well, we'll see if any of them are true in the next one when we go to trial and whatnot. Yep. I'm going to have to do tons of reading like this. Yeah. Also, I don't know what accent I'm doing. <laughs> is it know. Russian? <laughs> I don't know. Boy. Someone someone tell me, what kind of accent is this? It might be a mix of Russian and Spanish, to be completely honest with you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Those, two, those are two very different languages. but Yeah, it might be some weird combination. Who knows? Yeah. Anyways. Yep. Till next time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye.